Hey everyone, it is Jesse, and today I'm going to be testing out five famous celebrity fried chicken recipes to see which one is actually the best. On today's lineup, I have recipes from Snoop Dogg, David Chang, Guy Fieri, Patti LaBelle, and Gordon Ramsay. I measured out all the ingredients exactly as the recipe stated, and I got three of my friends to taste them in a blind taste test. So, which celebrity has the best fried chicken? Let's get frying. First up is Snoop Dogg. He starts by making a brine by combining sugar, salt, bay leaf, red pepper flakes, and orange peel in a pot of simmering water. Let that all dissolve, cool it off, and pour it over the chicken. Wrap it up and let it sit overnight. The next day, you're gonna take them out and dry them off with a paper towel so they're nice and dry. Bring that over, and in one bowl, you're gonna combine flour, cornmeal, potato chips, garlic powder, cayenne, baking powder, black pepper, and salt. Mix that all up, and in the other bowl, you're gonna add some cold buttermilk. Take each piece of chicken, put it in the buttermilk first, then the dry mixture, and do that with all the remaining chicken. Bring them over to a fryer, fry it till it's nice and crispy, transfer it to a rack, and garnish the top with a bit of salt. There you have it, Snoop Dogg's potato chip fried chicken. Okay, it kind of looks like KFC chicken. I'm liking the color on this guy. It seems very flaky, which is good, right? That means it's crunchy, crispy. Oh, it's real crispy. Can you hear that? Oh, oh yeah. This is good, but it is really good. The whole bite is delicious, like, even on the inside, because sometimes what happens is uh, with the fried chicken is it'll be seasoned nicely on the outside, but when you bite into it, it doesn't taste like anything, but this is really nice. This tastes similar to KFC chicken. It's like elevated KFC. The batter, from the outside it looks like it, but the moment you bite into it, it's like, whoa. Next up is David Chang. This one is based on a YouTube video, not a written recipe, so we tried our best, so don't end us in the comments. He starts by making a brine with 50% sugar and 50% salt. I stirred that all up so it's nice and dissolved, added the chicken, wrapped it up, and put it in the fridge overnight to brine. The next day, you're gonna take instant ramen packets and pulverize it in a food processor and turn it into a flour, kind of as a texture of almond meal. Take that, transfer it into a bowl, and season both buttermilk and that flour mixture with the packets that come with the instant ramen. You're gonna take each piece of chicken, Dip it in buttermilk first, then dip it in the pulverized instant ramen, and you're gonna do that with all of the chicken. Take those, dunk them into a preheated fryer, and gently fry them until they're nice and golden and crisp. Once you take them out, transfer them to a rack, and season the tops of them with a little bit more of that seasoning packet that comes with the soup. And there you have it, David Chang's ramen fried chicken. This looks really cool. This bread crumbing looks a little bit different than what I've been used to. This looks like Corn. It's not rice, is it? This is ramen, right? I love this. I think this is super creative. I like it. That's interesting. It's got more texture to it on the outside. You know when you get like Rice Krispies, it almost feels like that texture of Rice Krispies on the outside, so you get that extra crunch. The sad thing is that there are bits here where you see like it didn't really cling on to it the way it's supposed to. It's still a pretty good piece of fried chicken. Flavors on the money is seasoned all the way through from the outside to the inside. Pretty good piece. Up next is Guy Fieri. He starts by making brine by combining buttermilk, pickle juice, hot sauce, dill, granulated garlic, onion powder, salt, pepper in a bowl, and whisking it all together. Add your chicken. You're gonna let that sit for two to four hours. So I wrapped it up and I put it away. In the meantime, you're gonna make dill salt, which is dill, salt, and pepper. Mix it all together and set that aside for later. Once the chicken is brined, bring it back. You're gonna combine flour, cornmeal, granulated garlic, smoked paprika, mustard powder, onion powder, and black pepper in a large mixing bowl. Whisk that all up and you're gonna take one piece of chicken at a time and coat it in that flour. Do this with all the remaining chicken and you're gonna let them all sit for about 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature so the breading sets up. Bring those into a preheated fryer and fry them in 350 degree oil until golden, crispy, and cooked through. Transfer those onto a wire rack and you're gonna sprinkle the tops with prepared dill salt that you made. Bam, and there you have it, Guy Fieri's fried chicken with dill salt. Wow, we got some green bits in there, that's nice. Do you see this? There's like green on it, that's cute. A little less crunchy, but still good. We take a bite into it, see what we got. This has a weird taste, but in like a good way. Definitely a little bit less seasoning on this one, or at least a little less flavor. It didn't penetrate all the way through to the bone. Is there dill on this? I like this. I think that like gave it a little zing. It's pretty good, I gotta say. 
This one to me is pretty normal. Next up is my queen, Patty LaBelle. She starts by generously seasoning chicken with seasoning salt, black pepper, and cayenne. And yeah, I went heavy because I've seen the comments on the other videos and I do not want to be a victim of those comments. You're gonna get a bag, fill it with flour, and put chicken in it a few pieces at a time and shake them up to coat them. Do this with all the remaining chicken. Take the chicken and we're gonna shallow fry them. Patty only uses one quart of vegetable oil, so you're gonna have to flip them a few times, a bit different than the other recipes. Cook them until they're nice and golden and crisp. Transfer them to a paper towel to drain. And there you have it, Patty LaBelle's famous fried chicken. Okay, this looks like a home style piece of chicken. This one's really pretty. Oh, wow. That was juicy. Hey, we managed to retain some, uh, some juice in here, which is really nice. I like the seasoning on it. It's pretty good. This one's all right. It needs hot sauce. This is another recipe that's based on a YouTube video. Gordon Ramsay starts off by soaking chicken in buttermilk. To that, he adds shallots, garlic, and onion. The video looks like he might have put some herbs in it, but he didn't call for it, so I didn't use them. I wrapped this up, I stuck in the fridge overnight. The next day, he seasons flour with salt, cayenne, and pepper, mixes that together. Gordon Ramsay double dredges the chicken. This means he first puts it in the flour, then back into the buttermilk, then back into the flour one more time, so it gives it kind of an extra thick, crispier coating. He does this with all of the chicken, and then he transfers it to a preheated fry. He takes each piece of chicken, dips it into a 325 degree fryer, and fries it until it's nice and crispy and golden. When he takes them out, he sprinkles the top with a little bit of salt, and he says if it's not fully cooked, you can transfer them to the oven for a few more minutes just until they're done cooking. And there you go, Gordon Ramsay's fried chicken. All right. This one's real crispy. Is that all breading? Let me just take a bite, let's see what the flavor's looking like. In terms of flavor, really not my favorite. This literally tastes like dry turkey on Thanksgiving day, so no gravy. I can't really taste too much in the batter, can't really taste too much in the meat. This one doesn't have any taste. When it comes to flavors, I like pow, I like a lot of like, you know, stuff that sticks out at you. Nothing in general really sticks out at me with, in terms of this particular piece of chicken. Really plain, I gotta say. So, which celebrity has the best fried chicken? Let's find out. Out of these five fried chickens that I tried today, I think I'm gonna have to go with three. Three had a different taste, but I think it was because of the dill, and that put it to the top. What? You see, that makes sense. Guy Fieri's like bomb. Hello. Out of the five different types of fried chicken that I tried today, my favorite one has to be number one. It was packed with flavor, the skin was super nice, it was really juicy. And from the outside to inside, the flavor penetrated all the way through, which is something I'm always looking for when it comes to fried chicken. Clear winner in my eyes. Snoop Dogg? Oh, <laughs> I knew my guy would hook up some poppin' chicken, man. So out of these five fried chicken celebrity recipes, I think my winner is number one. It was just like the first bite, bit into it, and I was like, mind blown. Who was it? Are you serious? Wow, that's awesome. So there you have it. Snoop Dogg has the best fried chicken. Which recipe should we try next? Let us know in the comments.